Hey everyone, welcome to a video about using the pre-scaling features of the RetroTINK 4K. This is something that I've been experimenting with, uh, trying to teach myself how to use. There are some great profiles available out there already. Shout out to Mr. Morrow for his presets that cover the Nintendo Switch Online service, but I like to know how this works myself. So what we're going to do is have a look at doing some pre-scaling with some solutions that are already available like the Nintendo Switch online service. You might not like the way that this looks. You might want to do more things. You want to, might want to apply CRT filters. What we want to essentially do is reduce this image back down to its bare pixels because this has already been scaled up. We want to reverse that and then apply our own scaling. That's the way that I look at it. With something like the Nintendo Switch online service, the way that this is set up already isn't going to work. So we're going to need to go through to settings and select pixel perfect. That's going to make things a lot easier. The next thing you want to do is also select a game that has a lot of grid patterns or dithering patterns. That's going to be quite helpful in making sure that your scaling is correct. So I've been having a little look around and this is quite a good place to start. So we've got some dithering going on here. We can see what Mario looks like. I'd say this is a good place to start. So what we are first going to do is go to advanced settings, scale and crop in, and we want to go to vertical pre-scale. Now my Nintendo Switch is outputting 1080p. Some cases you might actually need to set that to 720p depending on the kind of game that you're playing. So what we're going to do is increase the vertical scale. As you can see, nothing's happening at the moment we set that to half when we set it to a third you can now see that things are looking a little bit janky if you look at the dithering if i go back here look at the brown squares but then if we set it to a quarter it's back to normal again so there are some maths that you can do here i just do this by eye and once you know what to look for you'll probably be fine so if i set that to one fifth it looks worse a sixth it looks worse it's not getting any better. We're losing more and more vertical resolution. So to me, that says a quarter is correct. If I want to verify that, what I can then do is again, go to my scan lines and we will set this to, well, we'll do super Gaussian. Gaussian, Ga yeah, I call it Gaussian. C tell me how this is pronounced, please. Uh, but as you can see, the scan lines line up perfectly with the pixels. Now you can pretty much leave it at this if, if you're happy enough with that function. If it's just sort of vertical scan lines and a mask that you want to apply, you're absolutely fine to do that. You can do a little bit of stretching uh, horizontally. Some people prefer to leave it like this because you can do things like add in horizontal blur to make it more, oh shit, the bed, uh, a bit more CRT-like, I guess. Um, you know, set that there, exponential, you know, that kind of almost looks like a, no, it doesn't, does it really? What if you want to go a little bit further? What if you want to break this right down horizontally as well? So this is where your decimation comes in. Again, I do this by eye and it's just a case of adjusting the input pixels. So go on, two, again, that looks fine. Three, makes it look a bit weird. Four, makes that look fine. I have the feeling it could be four, that's the right way to go. If we keep increasing it, it only gets worse and it never starts to line up. So four is good. And again, if I want to verify that, I can then go to processing and change it to the LCD mono setting. Now this looks ugly as hell, but you can see that it lines up perfectly with the pixels. So I now know that this is fully resized and decimated down to its bare pixels and it's just been scaled up. And I think if I change this to proportional and make this one, this is essentially what we've done. We've broken the image down to this size, which is its raw pixels. So now we have this done, we can apply some cropping. Oh, right, hang fire. <laughs> I'm going the wrong way. 
So if you wanted to, you can go right down to the edges of the canvas. I think this is pretty much using the full resolution. Okay, so this is an extreme example. You don't need to do this. And I might need to readjust depending on the game. In fact, <laughs> let's go back to the game selection and try our best to select a different game. What I would recommend you do is not crop as much as this. You could also potentially skip the, the decimation on the horizontal axis, but we'll just see. Let's load up Kirby. So I think we're still good here in terms of the scaling. Oh, sorry, in terms of the cropping. Ah, right, okay, so that needed to be amended. So we know that's cropped pretty well now. Well, first off, you know, if I wanted to fill the entire image, auto fill, there we go. We're essentially now doing what the Nintendo Switch was doing before, except we can apply things like scan lines now. And you can apply your, <laughs> your blur, should you fancy that. Now, something to note with the blur is it is going to be dependent on your input resolution. So if you want to make the blur a little bit more realistic, what we could do is go back to the, <laughs> the input decimation and increase the either the input pixels or the output pixels. Now, bear in mind, I don't exactly know how this works yet. <laughs> so please feel free to experiment with it. I tend to leave that off anyway. So what we can then do is use the power of maths. I think I've done a video on this. Alternatively, please check out Firebrand X, who has some fantastic tutorials on how to work out an aspect ratio. Now, I believe the pixel aspect ratio of the Super Nintendo is 1.143 off the top of my head. I don't know. Let's think of a good way to do this. So you want to do auto fill. Right now, this is filling the screen, but it's not the correct aspect ratio. What we can do is use these numbers here to work out the correct aspect ratio. So we're going to get a calculator out. Now I don't have the calculator on screen capture, but please believe me, I do have it out. Now what I'm looking at is the rightmost number at the horizontal factor. That's how many pixels this is taking up horizontally. Now we want to then take that. So that is one, two, three, four, great number. And we're going to times that by the as pixel aspect ratio, which again, off the top of my head is 1.143. And that gives us a number of 1410.46. So we're going to round that to the nearest two, which is 1410. So we will go to Freeform, so that was four point, this was 1080. And then this needs to be one, four, one, zero. And as you can see, we now have a lovely correct aspect ratio image for the Nintendo Switch online service. This is my 1080p mode, mother fuck. Oh, you son of a bitch. Forgot how much uh, Kirby can piss me off. And again, at this point, you can do whatever the hell you want. You can add scan lines, add masks, which are gonna look hilarious at 1080p, but you can do that. Add a little bit of convergence here for that realistic effect. Uh, yeah, let's see what masks we've got. <laughs> now, obviously this is gonna look horrendous on YouTube, but if it's for your own personal play and pleasure. This doesn't look too bad. Let's see. Well, we can change the horizontal blending mode. You know, that looks kind of CRT-like. What if we <laughs> add the dreaded blur? So yeah, this is blurry as shit. What will happen if we then adjust the output pixels? Oh, yeah, that's not good. 
So if you change the output pixels, you are going to need to readjust. That doesn't look great. But you've been introduced to the world of prescaling, at the very least. And really, the point of this video was to explain what prescaling and decimation kind of is, or at least how I understand it to be. Anyway, I hope this has been somewhat helpful for you. Um, maybe you now understand the power of prescaling with uh, both HDMI and analog sources. If this has been helpful, thank you. <laughs> thank you for watching, and you're very welcome. It's been a bit of a ramble. Whoa! Oops, that's not. Let's kill this motherfucker. There we go. Um, yeah, I hope this has been helpful. If it has, cool. Anyway, take care of yourselves. Goodbye.